the rebellion they're so proud of. This is why I'm hoping you can help. He tugs at a lock of hair again. I should have never trusted these people around my child. Tell me about yourself. I'm Lord Nestor Harrand of Defiance Bay. Ooh. My family has been prominent there since Imperial times. Our primary estate is on the outskirts of Brackenbury, but we have holdings in New Haomar as well. Those went to my sister and her husband. All right, bye. Do 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 do. Secrets? No. Okay. Obviously, we need to check the room upstairs. Uh, okay. The Orlin hovers by the window, peering out of it every few seconds. As you enter the room, she watches you carefully, her hand hovering over her stiletto. She cranes her head to peer behind you. Anyone follow you? Who sent you? Um, someone told me you're responsible for heinous killings in Defiance Bay. Knights of the Crucible, positive four. Ah, let me guess. Was that someone named Medrith? She draws her stiletto. You're a big shot with the Crucible Knights. If I had gone on some kind of rampage, don't you think you'd have heard about it? She shakes her head. I've gone on the wrong side of his employers, and now he's after me. But if you're still here to do his dirty work, I won't make it easy for you. Relax. I just want to hear your side of the story. What story? The Deminals came after me. I just happened to rob, the, to rob the wrong place. How was I supposed to know they'd already claimed it? She runs her hand under her hood and through her hair. It was an honest mistake. I'm just trying to survive now. And if you spoke with Medrith, you know where he's waiting. Uh, please help me get out of here. Uh, go east. Medrith's waiting for you just west of the river. Honest. She nods slowly. All right, I'm trusting you. Don't have much choice. If you can send him the other way, that should buy me some more time. She follows the hooded figures towards the stairs, grant, giving you a final uncertain glance as she passes through the door. Who's coming up the stairs? Cat and mouse. Give me secrets. Direct Medrith away from Nifra. I love being nice. So much awesome. Eyes open. Secrets unlock. <gasps> Walking shadows. I'll, I'll see it done. It's finished. Tick. Stuff. I love it. You guys aren't gonna care. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. flame and sound. We'll keep to Da -na -na. Guildmaster staff. Ooh. Baby, baby, baby. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Mm, okay. What is it? Everyone out but her. This is gonna be damn near impossible, but let's try it anyway. He's been thought stealing, but what does that do? Yeah. Nothing, okay. So unless we get attacked downstairs, because those named people should just mind their own business. Oh wait, we want to check this out. The portrait depicts a man and a woman dressed in a deer, blah, 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 blah. share a passion and embraces. Okay. Just not that into it. Oh god, so much talking. More tea, more tea. So we're not too keen on the Dominals. More or less. I mean, we're trying to be neutral, but... Um... Ah! I can just say I let her go. He picks on Find me for yet? I'm ready to get out of here. Yeah, and I let her go. Moderate negative. Eh, whatever. Don't worry, I'll catch up to her right after I take care of you. Oh, really? <laughs> really make my day. 
Alright, you didn't get the change to that, so there you go. One adventure quest added. Aw, oh, yeah. Nice. What is it? Howl Dwarf. So how do the Dementals know that we lost reputation with them if we left no survivors? Sure. Hmm. I'm asking the hard questions here. <laughs> oh, we gotta level up. Stabrina. Alright, we get that mechanics. Oof, baby. Got five points left. Is rank 10 max mechanics? Hope so. Coordinated positioning. The answer to your question is ciphers. Um, thanks. Fifty percent of incoming grades is converted to misses. Or, rogue looks for openings. Uh, incoming melee that target deflection and miss have a chance of full. Hmm. Maybe. Or, just. Get that. I don't know. What should I get? Expertise leads all everything to do raw damage as well. So it's like a dot. That might be really good. I don't know. It's kind of like, do, do, do I go glass cannon? Or do I gain some defense? Because she is a little... Uh, dead. Well, this relies on grazes, right? And it targets the reflex, so maybe deep wounds is best. I mean, maybe, I mean, we've had weird stuff bleed before, so sure. Keep it going. All right, we talked to them. Let's go here. Man, why do ciphers have to snitch? On everyone. All right. Not real popular with the women, Stale, stale Fritos. Don't mind if I do. Be cautious. This particular scene required a unique approach to its lighting as opposed to most interiors in the game. Since Trigil set up his curiary in a collapsed tower of an endearing castle that was once in the area, that meant light would spill in from the rooftop. This yes. meant that it would be one of the few maps in the entire game that would have its own day-night cycle. Because of this, the color grading of the scene needed to function in both day and night. In terms of area design for this level, Early on in the design, we played a lot with the placement of Trigal's key to his secret quarters. At first, it was on his person, but the player would only ever get it by outright killing Trigal, which some players might be opposed to. Another placement was putting in some sort of a chest nearby, but it felt too obvious and formulaic. Close to this idea, but more interesting, was that he lost the key, and his assistant and him are arguing over where it could be. If the player was to scout around, you could find it floating in a vat of dye. We felt we needed more ways to reinforce the value of scouting areas for hidden objects. This particular seemed to work to this effect. A bit of a little bit late to reinforce such a basic um, idea. Day, stranger. Looking to purchase some leather? What do you got for sale? The girdle of mortal protection. Troll hide belt. <gasps> you give me what? 
One endurance for every three seconds? Hello. And you're cheap as shit, hell yeah. What do you do? Sure, whatever. Damn it, I wanted to hit the stash button. And we go with a hat to love. And then we just sell a fuck ton of stuff. Try to click fast and not move the mouse. And I'll keep those. One. One. Cool, thanks. Alright, you have a belt of don't care. You have a belt of mm, increased damage reduction. I like that. You have a belt of you just increase healing received. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you have no belt. Here you go. And you need a belt as well. You will take less crit damage. Hooray! Everybody happy now. So you want a stiche? Pet the stashy. Mm -hmm. Stashy, stashy. Okay. So, can we just distract you? What can you tell me about Eris Harnold? Only that her father has been banging down the doors and searing up. Mention an ogre. He's hardly talked about anything else since those damn pigs or whatever. Uh, howling at night. What's in the collapsed tower? It's collapsed. Nothing. And there's a bard and... Okay. Where's the plate? Can I still stealth? Can, can I stealth? What are you? Effigy's eyes! Sabin, stop her! He raises his axe rage in his eyes. Okay. Was this worth it? Hey. I'm ready. What is it? Final Journal of Jonas Brothers. Okay. Eh? Hey, we can steal now. Is that all I needed him for? Hill is dead and no longer of any use. I mean, how else was I supposed to be sneaky sneaky? Was he hiding something? Am I supposed to kill him or was there like another way to do this? Feel free to spoil me on that because I don't want to have to redo it. Like, I, at most I would like to keep him alive. But if there's no other way of getting in here, then... Or like if I could have like led him outside or something, I don't know. A wood beetle. And poop attack. Oh, okay. No. All right, formations. Uh, ten percent experience on minor item. Okay, let's give it to him. Too long has it been since we made camp. At what? Why are you? Oh, okay. You're getting that fatigue. You have major fatigue. 